222 day. We will talk about XDC and its uh, XDC 2.0 protocol upgrade. And uh, fun fact, I just actually thought I recorded this whole thing. And it turns out that um, I didn't press the record button on OBS. I'm on my laptop. I am traveling. I am tired. I got maybe about four hours last night. Um, and uh, I am just done for t t today, but I want to put some information out there about XDC. Now, we will explain a lo lot of this, but H H House of Chimera put out a very good uh, high-level explanation of what the uh, XD POS 2.0 upgrade is all about, and we will explain this more. But first, I just want to uh, remind everyone of why I talk about XDC a lot. Not only is it um, indirectly connected to Ripple and XRP, but it is heavily uh, connected to the DTCC by way of R3 Corda, which is very important, and I will explain that more as we go on, but it is heavily involved in the trade finance industry, which I've seen is worth uh, between about 30 trillion and about 110 tr 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 trillion each and every year. Um, so uh, here was... Um, one of the uh, earlier announcements I caught on this from November 9th, uh, it is just talking about the upgrade that was on November th th 13th. Um, with XDC 2.0, there will be new ga gas fees, although it will increase, which is way below one cent still. Um, the improvements are that there is less supply. It has an increased network security, uh, improves resource allocation, and uh, it brings economic sustainability as well um, because the gas fees are a bit higher and they are more uh, predictable. So here was um, an announcement of uh, of XDC 2.0 being live on the testnet, and that was from November 7th. And here we have a, a tweet from Zinfin on November 7th as well, saying that XDC 2.0 will be live on November 13th, 2023, and that was uh, completed on this transaction right here so we are there right now so what's new with xdc 2.0 well it is built on a new uh bit, bit, byzantine fault to tolerant consensus pr pr protocol promising military grade security and performance while being ultra resource efficient efficient because uh, it's not proof of work essentially um, plus it's fully backwards compatible with existing apis um, they are re re revolutionizing gas fee management as well which will be adjusted with the uh, 2.0 upgrade but they aim to optimize fees for users and developers developers as well. Um, this caught my eye when the XDC network makes the update, all of the conditions will be in place for an EVM migration because no one wants to pay 10 to 50 bucks for, 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 for an Ethereum gas fee. I think that the most I ever saw was like 150 bucks back in 2021. And uh, that's exactly why I have no interest in ETH. I mean, I just don't. Um, so here is uh, the Zinfin.org site uh, explaining a bit more on XDPOS 2.0. 
which is the Zinfin delegated proof of STAKE, because I have a hard time on STs, consensus protocol 2.0 or XDPOS 2.0. And it explains it a bit more here. It explains what uh, they call blockchain 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 are which i'll uh, explain a bit more but they are referring to xd pos 2.0 as blockchain 4.0 um but and that's primarily because of the master node elections the hot stuff protocol and the uh, rewards as well which is important because Blocks are now finalized in a mere six seconds, which ensures quick and fair rewards. So um, it is uh, much more efficient, even when compared to XDC 1.0. So this is on the XDC.org site. It does uh, hi highlight that it does have 2,000 uh and higher transactions per second, way under one cent of a fee, and it's um, 10 million times more efficient than uh, Bitcoin and its proof of work um, pr protocol. A bit more in here, uh, it just uh, begins to explain the new uh, protocol, which uh, I'll explain a bit more in a white paper here in a second um this one uh talks about more of the evm things um it does have that same information but it just uh, explains that um it is a uh forensics enabled consensus mechanism that is built upon an advanced bft consensus protocol and will g guarantee absolutely zero forking in the finalized chain as long as the ratio of adversarial masternodes in each epoch does not exceed one third so essentially what that means is that as long as two thirds of the masternodes are behaving uh responsibly um then the network can c c continue so here is uh the xd POS 2.0 site uh, from the uh, XDC community site. And uh, it does expand on the 1.0 and all of that. So essentially, blockchain 1.0 was uh, Bitcoin and pr pr proof of work. 2.0 was pretty much ETH and uh, programmable smart contracts 3.0 is pretty much p p p p p p pos um and 4.0 which uh it calls out down here is uh what they are ca calling xdc 2.0 it is secure when there is sufficient participation and it's honest conversely if security is breached then every malicious actor is identified with cryptographic integrity and uh this is uh i believe the actual web version of the white paper but i will link to that in a bit so i found this guy who uh looked into the uh, xdc white papers a lot um i've explained almost all of this already um and uh, we will a little bit more in this white paper, but um, this is the tweet that is uh, concentrating on the actual white paper for XD POS 2.0. And that is here. Um, I believe it's pretty much that same thing, but if you go to section 2.2, .2, then it describes the new protocol. Um, it is a uh so it is a B B B B B BFT SMR 
protocol widely used as an enterprise grade blockchain consensus engine um, compared to the Nakamoto longest chain, which is Bitcoin and ETH, it has two uh, distinct advantages, which are deterministic security, aka finality, which uh, regards to that uh, forking and two-thirds part, and the uh, resiliency to network partial asynchrony, which means that it remains secure even if the network is temporarily not synchronous, e.g. if there is a large temporary latency between different sets of nodes, which the Nakamoto uh, consensus is not secure against that. Um, it does have a lot more technical information in here, which I won't even uh, try to explain because you won't get anything out of that, and I'll just end up even more confused so let's um see a couple of examples of the value that xdc is actually um involved with and we will uh look more at tr 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 trade tech and the dtcc which also involves xrp but uh tr tr trade tech is here um that is uh, primarily concerned with t tokenizing the 30 to about 110 trillion dollar trade finance industry and the DTCC uh, is all about s s uh, tr 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 transaction s s s settlement. So let's uh, play this one. We are a uh active user of trade tech and we have closed various transactions with them and i'm quite amazed about the capabilities the team has and what kind of added value they bring to the entire platform in the trade finance and lending space i think it's uh, going to grow uh, deeper and use them more often and um, they will be an integral part of our originate to distribute model that is from uh, from the global head of trade financing and lending at Deutsche Bank, which is a big deal. So I had a short um, conversation on X with Mr. Man XRP because he is one of the few that still hypothesizes that XRP can and possibly is used in the R3 Corda settler, which is... Uh, Surprisingly, a very controversial um, hypothesis to have, but it is a very realistic one as well, because even though the R3 Corda Settler does not publicly say that they can or do use XRP, there is code available that is publicly out there and it has no cost at all that allows the Corda Settler to use XRP. And um, I just don't understand why people can't read between the lines here. I mean, yes, um, Ripple and R3 did end up in a lawsuit back in 2017, which I think ended in 2018. And uh, they're not publicly friendly with each other, but they're not unfriendly either. And if I have to uh, remind everyone, um, XDC and XRP are uh, connected by way of R3 because SBI is involved with both XDC, uh, R3, and XRP as well. So I just don't see how these very large financial service technologies um, product providers aren't working with financial companies and financial institutions to combine the advantages of the assets XRP and XDC, but more importantly, the value of the networks that XRP and XDC have as well. I think that's probably the more important part. Here is another uh, reminder of how XDC and XRP are connected by way of SBI. 
and it's from t t Tokenizer, who knows a lot more than I do. So if you don't t t take it from me, then I suggest you take it from him. Uh, t t t t t 24 Hours Crypto um, has a video from a couple of d d d days ago that talks about the DTCC. And uh, we see that they are involved with, uh, with XDC. Um, but they're also involved with Swift and uh, XDC and XRP um, have uh, have ISO 222 compliant protocols, and uh, they and the DTCC um, has talked about working with Ripple as well. Uh, in here, the guy from the DTCC explains how they move uh, 10 trillion every day. Uh, and it doesn't make sense to use things like USDT or USDC for that because their uh, supply is just not that big. And it would take that out of su supply. And uh, they both don't really transact um, quickly either, especially when compared to XRP and XDC. And here is an interesting thing I found. The uh, Troyes Wood, who is the ISO 222 financial messaging and, uh, and XDC payment c c c c company, um, Impel, which uh, came from the uh, Zinfin Foundation, uh, is actually t t talking about WADS pay as well. I have not c c c confirmed this, but I haven't heard anyone call uh, it false either. I haven't really looked a lot into WADS pay. I know what it is and what it does, but with um, XRP and uh, and with XRP and XLM and even XDC. I'm not really personally ready to go uh, put money into another um, payment solution oriented crypto at this point in time.